The chord effect creates a chord for each new incoming note up to plus or minus 36 semitones. You decide how many layers in the chord and how much each layer shifts up or down. If I output only a C note, I can add additional notes to the chord to harmonize and recreate a C chord. Instead of using three MIDI notes, I use one and let the chord device do all of the work. Velocity control for each additional note is found below. 100% gives the same velocity for the extra note as the original had. Inputting a low velocity will allow you to add subtle overtones to the track without overpowering the original note. Note that you cannot set two notes to the same pitch. The device will automatically disable the value and will have no effect. An easy way to jump by octaves is to select the knob, hold down shift, and then click up or down on the arrow keys. For a broader frequency range, try putting two chord devices together. Let the first device shift up and down by octaves and let the second device shift up and down by a few semitones to create a chord. This way, you'll have three chords in three different octaves. And that's just about it. Like this video if you liked it, dislike this video if you think it sucked, and check out my channel for more videos on Ableton Live audio production and engineering. See you later guys, never stop making music.